Hey, beautiful souls. I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. How y'all feeling? The energy has been pretty intense today. Not like in a bad way. It's like, okay, let's hurry and get this done and get this done and get this done and get this done. I can definitely feel Mars getting ready to go into into uh, Gemini, so this is, I can feel it, it's like the rubber band's being pulled back, okay, and this is the way my guide showed it to me yesterday, which made a lot of sense, okay, it's like, you know those slingshot uh, roller coaster um, rides that people get on, and you can find videos of people on these rides, right? They're sitting in this thing, and they're being literally pulled all the way back, okay? And that rubber band stretched as far as it could, and then they just let go, and they're like, BOOM! <laughs> one eleven on my clock, and it's frozen. Then it went up to one thirteen. So things are manifesting quickly. Keep an eye on your thoughts, okay? We still have Mercury in uh, Virgo. So keep an eye on your thoughts. Make sure that you're... Bringing in happy thoughts, you're thinking happy things, you're not allowing yourself to go into the shadow, okay, with your thoughts. So it really does feel like we are about to be shot on a ride of our life. Like I can feel it. And that's the way that my guides kept showing me last night. Like this is what's happening. This is what's taking place. So let's tap into the Twin Flame Collective. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's coming up. Let's see what's purging. Okay, one more please. And y'all, I had to uh, pull my deck out I have, that I got uh, when I was in Florida after going to Miami. Surrender to the Divine. Mm-hmm. Surrender to the ride of a lifetime. I love it. Be bold. Make the first move. <laughs> oh, bless me. Shoo, pink elephants. <laughs> I'm not crazy, I swear. There's lots of pink elephants. <laughs> the energy is gaining momentum. I feel it. It feels like we're getting ready to be like in this slingshot ride. I don't even know what this ride's called. If y'all know, drop it down below. Because I don't even know. But it definitely feels like uh, we're getting ready to, to be shot straight forward. We're going to be launched. Literally. Ding! launched okay um and that was a financial email this could be connected to work okay a personal issue reaches resolution this is the only full moon no we have two full moons so release 333 um release not believing in yourself release uh, not believing that the divine has your back. Release um, 344. Release trying to control everything. Okay. The divine knows better than we do. So release trying to micromanage and control things. Buckle up and get ready to rock and roll. Literally buckle up. Put your straps on so you don't get slung out of the uh, ride. <laughs> As we get washed forward. Let's see where we're at in the heart space. Let's see where we're at in the heart space. One more, please. Thank you. Align your life. Whatever's not aligned must go. Let it go. Let it flow. If it is not meant to be there, there's no point in holding on to it. Release that. And that's in the heart. Lamaria. I love it. I love that this came up 444. Because um, I have been connecting with many Lamarian healers. Many Lamarian light workers. 
inner temple devotion turn tune into the portal of the heart yeah so it definitely feels like we're moving from the heart chakra awakening the heart chakra purge there's been a lot of healing taking place a lot of new energy coming in because we are dealing with the higher chakras i see violet i see blue so from the throat up okay and then inner temple tune into the portal of your heart love is the vibration okay love is the vibration love is the frequency of what we're creating trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do would you take that leap of faith would you make that phone call would you um take that job would you take that trip would you go on that adventure if you knew you would be fully supported would you do it would you say okay i fully surrender and trust the divine i fully surrender and trust where i'm being led i fully surrender and trust everything's happening for my greatest good and highest joy would you do it I mean, I've had to like let go, surrender, let go and surrender some more, let go and surrender, and then go. Okay, you're telling me to trust you. This is getting a little scary. Trust when I say it's all part of the process. It's all part of the journey. It's all part of the process. It's all part of what we're doing. There's going to be be people showing up connected to this timeline. Okay, 7-11. There's going to be people showing up connected to, to that timeline. Okay, let's see uh, what we're doing with the past life cards. Definitely need to connect the heart and the upper chakras. Let's see what we're healing. One more, please. Thank you. I'm still trying to find um, my romance angel stick. Okay, there's a big connection to home. This is my card for home. Okay. You've already agreed to experience this. You've already agreed to walk walk you've already agreed to you know be on this path to be on this journey what are you afraid of definitely new things being born literally okay could be new projects could be new ways of earning money could be um, literally having a baby okay uh, be mindful. Definitely check your, if you're not wanting this, be, be mindful, okay? Especially when this comes up and it's resonating. Um, invest in mini raincoats. I don't know what's the, okay? Definitely a strong um, Irish energy showing up got the angels star seeds definitely connected to um, the witch trials there's a little bit of hint of that going around right now too you could be leaving your home to move towards creating heaven on earth Y'all, I changed my hair color just a little bit. It's a little darker than what I typically like it to be, but it works. I'm having to get creative. I might pop on here one day and it's uh, brown. All right, let's see uh, what chakras we're working with today. Can you give me three cards, please? Okay. 
second one. I love it. 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 <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so um, got Leo energy showing up pretty dominant. Okay. Confidence, the sunflower. This reminds me of the sun card, okay? Have confidence that you're going in the direction that you're meant to be going in. Have confidence that the divine is leading you, 1044, exactly where you're meant to be. Whatever's not aligned, let it go. Have confidence in your guides. Have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in your gifts. Have confidence in what you're bringing to the table. There's definitely a phoenix, a major transformation, 1101 taking place. Trust the process. Trust the journey. Trust where you're being led. Okay? And if you're looking for a sign to make a move, Trust the transformation that's coming into place because this is going to fall right under the cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. Okay, and the next one. Expectations. Okay, try not to have any expectations on how you want things to work out. Okay, be open to the divine surprising you there's a lot of beautiful surprises is going to be showing up i feel that deeply okay i feel it deeply i am seeing um, a lot of people that i was connected to with lower vibrational energies they're going away it can be scary when that happens okay Allow it to 1202, allow it to go, allow it to flow, release any expectations on yourself. And then what's holding this up is going to be the strength card. Okay. You've got it all within you. Um, Abraham Hicks says it best. You have everything to make the cake within you. You have the flour, the bacon soda, the eggs, the milk, one, two, three, four. You have everything that you need, the icing, the pan. All you got to do is put it together, okay, to create that, right? So believe in the strength that you have. Believe in the process of being able to go through this Phoenix moment and go through that major transformation. I have literally had to be where I'm meant to be to allow for the transformation, the Phoenix moment to happen in my own personal life. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to do another reading. I'm going to dive in a little deeper. Let's see if I can um, dive into specific collective energies and see what's coming up. Definitely a lot of Leo, a lot of Scorpio energy showing up because I got one, two, three cards that represent Leo. Okay, 1333 and then Scorpio. And then I got Cancer. So <clears throat> definitely King and Queen energy, Cancer, Leo showing up. And a big commitment connection to Lamarian timelines. Okay, this could be a divine uh, couple that are coming back together, that were together during those times. That's the vows that you took, 1404. And, you know, you this could be why. I channeled a year ago a message for the 144 if this is resonating with you and you feel like that this is what's coming next in your life. I channeled a message a year ago about the 144 and their specific groups of the 144 that this is their mission. So if this resonates, go through my, my uh, videos and find it. I will actually... See if I can't find it myself and put it in my Telegram group, which 1441, the link is below for that too. If this reading resonated with you and you'd like for me to dive in deeper, my website's below. Also, um, if you feel called to make any donations to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. All right, guys, I love y'all. 
Stay happy, stay positive, and I'll see you soon.